and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my autumn sewing plan. Autumn is my favourite, favourite time of the year simply because all the colours are really, really beautiful and in my mind the weather is perfect. I love a little, little bit of chill in the air. Um, probably, you probably think I'm crazy for that but summer, I do love summer but autumn is, is definitely in my season and it's my birthday so I mean obviously when it's your birthday it's your favourite season. Last year I didn't really make much um, autumnal clothing. I was more distracted by some dresses and I didn't really do much sewing but I did make this which was literally my favourite thing in the world. It's so cute. It's a Girl Charlie fox print and I made it in this T in the Buttons Agnes top dress kind of hack thing and I just absolutely love this dress so much so I'm really looking forward to being able to wear this again with winter boots and tights and a hot chocolate and oh. So yeah, I just wanted to show you my little foxy foxy dress. So um, this season I'm going to give myself a challenge where I'm not allowed to buy any new patterns. So all the patterns in this video I've either made or I already own, none of which I've, I need to buy. So I'm not allowed to buy any patterns because I need to I need to save money towards fabric instead, yay! So the first thing on my list is a jumpsuit. Now I saw this jumpsuit in Anthropology in Bath a couple of weeks ago and I was just like, oh that's beautiful, I really need that. It's really, really nice. It's kind of like a stretch crepe fabric and it had these embroidered roses on it and I just thought that's the most amazing thing, I need that in my wardrobe. This is a picture of it here um, from my phone and then this is what it looks like on the website. Now it's very rare that I create something I've seen like almost exactly as it is on the high street. I generally tend to either go for a print and then adapt it in my own kind of style but this was too good to pass and I think it was like £150. <laughs> mm -mm, I'm not paying that money. The jumpsuit has a really beautiful kind of drape to it and it's made out of this fabric. It feels like a crepe but it has stretch to it so it looks super super comfortable and I do embroider, but I really can't be bothered to embroider all the roses on it. So I ordered these from Amazon, and I just thought the colours were just so gorgeous, and it's going to look really nice with the kind of that powdery blue navy um, crepe that I really want to try and find. Um, so it comes with these little ones here, and then it comes with the long ones. So I'm thinking of putting um, maybe the small ones like here on the bust and then the long ones down the arms or maybe the long ones slightly curving over the shoulder. I don't know, I'm just gonna make the play suit and then play around with these. But these were super cheap and I got them from Amazon and they came so quickly in the post. So the service was really, really good. I will link um, in the description bar down below where I got these. But I just thought they were really, really lovely, like autumnal colors and they don't look that cheap. I mean, some embroidered flowers you get, they just look really naff, but these have like lots of lovely colors in. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, using these. So this jumpsuit pattern, I'm going to try and combine these two patterns, which is a challenge in itself, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be the Vogue Very Easy V9075, which I have made before, there's a link here if you want to see that, and also the New Look 6446, again, I'll put a link up there for you to see this jumpsuit, and I'm going to combine these two, I will put the line drawings here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the trouser from this pattern and add the top from this pattern to it. I think it's going to look really cool because I just absolutely love the trouser shape from this and I will taper more of it towards the ankle. But I mean, I could look for a jumpsuit that's similar, but I'm really enjoying customising my patterns and altering the pattern, so I want to give this a go and we'll see how it, how, it, how it looks. So my next pattern is something I have also made before. It is the Colette Hawthorne dress. I absolutely adore this pattern. It's so, so gorgeous and I really want to make the top version at some point. That's definitely on my list. But for now, I really want to make it in this beautiful mustard cotton and steel bobbin fabric. Isn't that just the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? I just love the um, mustardy colour with the pink. I just think it's really, really fun and great for that kind of awkward in between end of summer and autumn where you really die into it, autumnal colours. But it's still got pink in it, it's still fun, you can still wear it in no tights. So I'm looking forward to making this. And I'm going to try and make this in time for the Handmade Fair in September. And I'm going to try and go, I think it's on the Sunday. If it's on the Sunday, I'm going. If it's not on the Sunday, I'm going to have to figure it out. Um, but I'm going to try and go. So if any of you are there, it will be really nice to see you. But yes, there's this. The next thing I really, really, really want in my wardrobe, which I've been wanting for a very long time, is a pair of sort of tweedy um, kind of trousers. I'm going to put a picture here that I found on Pinterest. I want this kind of, this kind of fabric. I think it would look really nice. And I want them to be very high-waisted and really fitted. And I'm going to adapt the Megan Nielsen flint pattern because I got along with it really, really well. I love the fact that it has pockets. It's really easy. It's just a button or a popper to fasten it. So no zips, nothing fussy. That's what I like. So I'm going to adapt that pattern. Again, taper it in 
um, at the leg and make a pair of those and I thought it looked really cute with jumpers like this and little blouses and things like that and they'll just look really gorgeous with like a brogue and I have a really nice um, Cambridge red satchel that I'll look really really glam with and I think they're just like the perfect kind of vintagey lang girly kind of look that I want to go for this autumn. I also want to make a shorts version in a tartan. Um, this is a picture of uh, a Vivian Westwood pair of shorts that I have been obsessing over forever. This is the kind of tartan I'm going to try and look for, something really really warm, not too punky, very kind of like autumnal highlandy look. That, that's what I'm going for. So I think they'll look really really cool. I might do a paper bag hack we shall see, but I'm intending to use, again, the flint trouser pattern because I'm not going to try and buy any patterns for any of these looks, just use what I've already got. Another thing I've been dying to have in my wardrobe for ages is a velvet dress. Now, I am obsessed with velvet, I just think it's such a beautiful fabric and there are a lot of stretch mark, stretch, blah. <laughs> There are a lot of stretch velvets I have been seeing recently at Shepherd's Bush and I think this is the time to get them because when the season changes, everyone's going to dive on that. <laughs> so I really, really want to make one in like a really rich emerald or like a really deep green, um, but I don't want it to look like a dressing gown. <laughs> That's the only thing. So I'm just going to put some pictures here of what I found on Pinterest and I just think it will look so glamorous. So you can go in the day and it's shopping or you can wear it to work because um, I can wear anything I want to work or you can even wear it with like a nice like gold shoe or a glitter heel to a party and some gems because party season will be around you know November, December onwards if you have a social life if you don't like me you're not going to any parties because you work unsociable hours <laughs> but still I like to wear glamorous things every day and I just think this will look really really nice with like some gem like jewellery and stuff I just think it'll look really pretty um, but I'm going to make that in the Vogue Very Easy V8896. I love this pattern. I made it a couple of times. It's just such a lovely make and it's got really beautiful gathers the shoulders. It does require a stretch, stretch fabric, but a lot of the um, velvets I've been looking at are stretch velvet and they're the right pile so they don't look too sheeny and cheap. They look really, really rich. So I think that will look really beautiful with this and I'm going to give it a go. The next fabric I'm going to show you, you might remember in my first ever video, I still haven't used it, it's the um, William Morris William print that I got from Fabrics Galore and I absolutely love this and I'm still intending to make the same pattern. I want to make the Erin skirt by Sew Over at London, I just think it will look really really gorgeous and with the buttons and yeah I might make it between the short length and the midi length that they have, just, to, just literally on the knee, like on the knee cap bit thing. But yeah, I have an obsession with William Morris. I think his design is really, really gorgeous. So I'm really looking forward to making this. Another thing I really need to use is this amazing cat fabric that I got at the Knitting and Stitching show. I can't remember the store where it was or what it was called. But if I do, I'll link it down below. But it's this cat fabric and it's just, oh, so cute. And I mean, Halloween, obviously, cats, cats everywhere. Um, I want to make a kind of peplum top out of this. I already have a top that's shop bought. I'll put a picture from my Instagram here and it's red and stripy and I literally just want to recreate that exact exact top and I think with black, um, black skinny jeans this will look really nice and maybe a glittery pump and red lipstick. Another thing that I've been wanting for literally probably a decade probably more since the first Harry Potter film came out is the Harry Potter's jumper that Mrs Weasley knits them on Christmas day. I just absolutely love this jumper I have an obsession with it and I wish I could knit if I could knit I would have made this for myself yonks ago um, I don't want it with an A for my name Alex I literally just want the H the Harry jumper I'm obsessed with Harry Potter I'm the massive Harry Potter geek I've seen the play I've seen the films I've been to the tour twice I just love it so I just really want the Harry jumper I just think it's so cute I really really need this and also um, I really like Ron's as well so I'm really tempted to like get the Harry one for me and get the Ron one for my boyfriend the Ron one 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 if you know what I mean by one one you comment down below if you're a real high-powered nerd you'll know what I mean um, I think we'll just look really nice on Christmas Day I don't oh no I said it Christmas no no I'm not allowed to say Christmas yet Ugh, not until we passed Halloween but I really want the Harry jumper and I think my boyfriend would look really cute in the, the burgundy Ron jumper we could be like Harry and Ron in a weird sort of strange way another thing I really really want to learn is to knit um, I can't knit uh, my knitting is terrible my tension is horrific um, I can't even remember how to do it my friend bless her Natalie tried to teach me like two years ago on the 1st of January when I was hungover, I was like, I want to learn how to knit. She's like, okay, well, we'll see where we can go. <laughs> it didn't go very well. I am so jealous of all of you on Instagram making this amazing cardigan called the, the Minetta, the Minette cardigan by Andy Satterland. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but that is literally my dream cardigan. It has little holes thing, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know what the name for the knitting thing is, if I knew how to knit, I could tell you, but I really want one. So I want one, one, one. <laughs> 
But mum, if you're watching, I want that for Christmas, um, if I don't get around to knitting. Can I have this in like a cherry red or like a really nice sort of pink, please? Thank you. Another thing I really, really need to make is more tops. I don't really own a lot of tops that aren't Breton tops or jersey tops, even though one of the things in this pile is a jersey top. But I really want to make some like really beautiful piped tops, like pussy bow blouse pipe tops or ones with collars with piping. I just love piping and I've never really given it a go. So that is on my checklist for this autumn season is to learn to sew with piping. I know that Tilly in the button sent out an email a couple of weeks ago on how to sew piping, so I might need to check my inbox and reread that post. But it just looks, everything just looks really, really nice. And I want to try and find a fabric that's got like acorns on it or something like squirrels. I love the style of this fabric I found on Pinterest. I think it's strawberries and it's really, really gorgeous. I do have a strawberry fabric, but it's very, it's too, it's too sheer. I want to be able to make some really beautiful billowy viscose crepey kind of blouses that you don't need to wear spaghetti tops underneath because spaghetti tops drive me absolutely insane. I don't want to be layering that stuff because it comes up, it rides up and you have to put it down and you see your bra straps and it's just, no. So if any of you can find or have seen some acorn fabric, can you please send me a link and I will love you forever. So this is the um, Orla pattern. I really love it. And there's one with um, a scalloped collar, which is just, oh, to die for. It's so beautiful. So I make might adapt this and then have it with a tie as well. We'll see. I mean, I'll just have to experiment and see how it looks, but I definitely really want to use this pattern. It's all cut and ready to go, but I just haven't had a chance to sew it, and it's been on my sewing list forever. I've been covered in this pattern since it came out, and I still haven't used it. I just need to find a really great fabric, like the acorn fabric, and then I will make this, and I can wear it with some really beautiful high-waisted skirts or fitted skirts, and yeah, I just think it would look really, really nice. And another thing I've been dying to make for a while is a top like this. Again, for everything I, I pin is, is on my Pinterest board. I really love Pinterest. Just to get some ideas on the sort of clicked. <laughs> Just to get some ideas together and to really think about your projects before you necessarily start them or jump on them. I just like to sort of pin everything and if I still like it a couple of months later I'm like yes I'm going to make that. But I just love the sleeves on this top. I just think it's really really sweet. It's very kind of like 70s style and with a fitted skirt it just looks really good. And this came free in Simply Sewing magazine. It's the the Mia set but I really like View B and I think is that yes that is the one she's wearing in the in the picture even though this looks Oh, it's not. Oh, my mistake. It looked gathered, but it, but it isn't. It's just the way it sits. But I'm going to make this in a kind of navy polka dot like the, the girl is wearing in the, in the Pinterest photo because I have an obsession with polka dots and I really want a navy polka dot top. I just think it's really, really pretty. Thank you so much for watching my autumnal making plans. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I can't wait to start sewing all these lovely, lovely things. Also, can I just say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who has been subscribing to my channel. I think we're at 1,400 subscribers, which is insane. <laughs> so thank you to everyone who has subscribed and I really enjoy making them, so I'm really glad so far that you enjoy watching them. Enjoy the rest of your day, thank you, bye.